day, I am Heather, and I am the H of HP. Pam, my partner and best friend, is the P, so it's Heather Pam Distribution. And I am here every Wednesday at 11 a.m. And today, we are going to make a stained glass window with paper. How cool is that, right? We're gonna turn paper into glass. So, I'm super pumped. We have our decoupage paper, which is Grace on Design. And the paper we're gonna be using today is called Sincere Vision. So, we have Sincere Vision, which is this decoupage paper, and it is a paper of a stained glass. And what I did is I found this old, old, old window. My husband brought it here. It is chippy, it is old, it is cool, and we're gonna make it look like a stained glass window. So what we did first, off camera, is I laid the paper down over the entire window and made sure that it was sort of straight, sort of even. Um, not completely perfect. I'm gonna, there we go, I feel like that's straighter. And I have my top coat and this tape here to kind of hold it in place. So then what I did is I took my razor blade and I leaned on the inside and cut out just a little bit extra for each paint, okay? So the, this is gonna be in this one, that's gonna be in that one. I'm gonna put these two down and then I'll show you how we cut them going forward, okay? Today I'm using I love you satin top coat. Just pour some in a bowl. This way I'm not messing around with the container. It's just easier for me. I really, I do like working with bowls a lot. You see, there it is. Okay. So we're going to do this pane first. I did also clean the windows. I, well, I cleaned this side really good. I didn't clean the other side great yet, but I did clean them before. And I just kind of put like a couple taps worth of top coat. And I'm just gonna put the top coat on the window. And what we want is even coverage that's not too light and not too heavy. I want you to think of like the three little bears, okay? We wanna make sure our patterns match and that we're straight, so I'm kinda of hovering it right now. There we go. And then we're gonna take our blue tool and we're going to smooth it out. We want to get it on nice and smooth. If there's a little bit extra, it's okay. No one's gonna see this like back messy stuff and we can cut it later. It's better to have a little bit extra back here like that than not enough, okay? I'm just gonna get this little bit to really stick. There's like, I guess they kind of fixed it with, it looks like, it honestly looks like somebody hot glue gummed it there. Okay, so this one is down. I can feel a couple little wrinkles and bubbles kind of wanting to form. So now I'm gonna go back and just kind of <clears throat> flatten out what I can. But to be honest, this is supposed to look like an old stained glass window. So if there's a couple wrinkles here and there, it's gonna add to it because the window is old and funky. So I think for like one thing to be perfect and the other thing to be old is kind of like a little bit weird. It's kind of like, it's just opposite. Look, see here's like how they fixed it with, I don't even know what that is. It looks like, again, Kind of looks like a hot glue gun stuff. All right. boop, boop, boop. Even coverage, not too much. 
If you do too much, it's gonna make your paper soap. If you don't do enough, it's not gonna stick, okay? That's why I'm kinda just moving it around a couple good times to make sure we have it everywhere. So again, we're putting the image side on, image side down, because we're gonna have the image is what we wanna see. A lot of times when we decoupage, we do, we put our decoupage medium on the back. But this time, we're going to do decoupage front. Okay, so we have our first two panes. All right, so razor blade, be careful, don't cut yourself. I'm pretty much known for telling people not to do things to hurt themselves, and then I do. That's my, that's what I do. I'm like, hey, be careful with the heat gun, and then I burn myself. All right, so instead of going on the inside, inside of the window, I'm kind of going along the pane. Because I want a little bit extra, if we can have it, okay? Although, this is exactly the size of this window, so I'm just gonna remind myself that when I do this one, I wanna cut it a little bit more exact, I think, so that I don't lose height. But width-wise, we can cut. Okay. So now see how this is gonna nestle into there? to be a little bit more intentional with the the height bit. So I'm actually gonna go along the inside edge for the height. If you have a shorter window, you can give yourself a little bit extra space. But my window is like really tight to that end. not even super straight. It's okay though, okay? Alrighty. Two more panels left and then we're going to flip it over. But you guys can kind of see, you can see it taking shape, right? issue and then I'm gonna take pictures of it okay <gasps> look at how pretty it looks so far how cool is that we made a stained glass window out of paper guys 
It's so cool. I love it. So cool. Now I'm going to tell you that from this angle, I can kind of see where some of the wrinkles are because the top coat hasn't dried yet in those sections. So I'm hoping that that kind of dries a little bit better as it dries, but it's super cool. And the window is filthy. So I'm going to clean it. I'm going to let it dry. We're going to take some pictures, but how cool is that? So excited it worked. All right. So I'm back. I'm I I would love to see your windows. Okay, we have a lot of cool papers. It was it was hard to decide which one to use until we took them out. But I'm gonna tell you what, since uh, Water's Edge <clears throat> would be amazing because it would look like you're looking out at the city. Uh, Sunflower Fields would be cool because it'd be like you're looking into a field. Uh, Guardian Angel, Garden Angel. She would be cool. Again, she would look like you're kind of like looking out into it. So we have a lot of papers that this could be really cool for. So make your windows and tag us because I'll be so excited to see you guys do it, okay? Again, I'm gonna let this dry. So I will see you guys at 12. And then um, maybe later today, we'll see, all right? Bye.